All right, I'm starting with uh, Revit 191 for University of Montana, Chapter 2, creating a model. We're going to go to Chapter 2 to download the file. Well, you can start with your previous file, but I'd recommend this method. And it's going to be called NER-2. It's a project file, a RVT file. It um, starts where we left off, and everything's all good. Um, we're going to use that file and download. Um, by double clicking it. I already have it downloaded. So let's just get started and I have it opened. Um, we're gonna start on page 45, creating a model. And a few things we're gonna learn in this chapter is um, a lot of good families and associated templates do support these files. So we're gonna be accessing some of those for doors and windows and such things like that. We're gonna learn how to place walls a bit better. We're gonna use learn how to use reference planes um, up here. Those are going to be very handy for us. Um, we're going to also um, learn how to add interior walls. We're going to learn a lot about editing wall joins and we're going to place walls and doors. So let me get started and see how far I get with this. This could be a two-parter possibly. Um, we're going to start with adding exterior walls on the first couple pages here. On page 46, that you can go back to that here and there to keep you uh, honest to how the model should look, um, <clears throat> picture view. Um, we're gonna start by using reference planes. So, all right, um, chap page 47, we're gonna go to number one and we're gonna open the file, which we already done. We're on level floor plan one here. And we're gonna go to the work plane over here on this tab, on this ribbon architecture, we're gonna start a reference plane. Now. Um, we're going to make it such that we snap to the midpoints of both walls that you see in the bottom of page 47. So let's start by doing that. And the snap with the triangle comes on. Just pick any point out here. Keep it horizontal. Go across. Do it again. Hit escape. Let's click it. I like to do this. Just pull it out a little bit to give me better reference. And you can check your dimensions. Looks like it's even in the middle. See how those are exactly the same? That's good. But we know because we snap to it as well, to the midpoint. But it doesn't hurt to check that. You're going to learn that at this chapter a lot. Um, OK. We're going to make an offset uh, reference plane now. Uh, we're going to start the command again. Hit Escape. Start the command again, reference plane. This time. We're going to pick an entire line to reference from. We're going to offset 15. Okay. Um, hover your pointer right here. You can do either or. Um, you see when you hover, it kind of moves. So we'll do one on the top and one on the bottom. Hit escape again. Good to go. All right. Let's double mouse click to zoom all. Or when you're zoomed in, you can type ZA. We've got the whole view. We're on page 49. Um, let's go to step one and two. Select an exterior wall, right click. We're going to try this, create similar. Or if you remember, it's right here as well. Let's create similar wall, same as the exterior wall. And let's start by drafting um, this wall. On the options bar, make sure location line is set to finish. Face exterior. Yep. Good. Now to page 50. Start drawing the new wall um, from the intersection of the west wall, the one on the left, and the upper reference plane. So this one, you've got to be really tight in there. Um, and I'll show you this new trick hitting space bar as we draw the wall to flip it from both sides to justify it, different sides. Um, all right, let's zoom in here. Um, we have to start drawing the west wall, upper reference plane. Okay, no offset. Let's start right about here. Okay. Now, this is what we mean by that. So you hit option, or excuse me, space bar, space bar. You can flip it. We want it on this side as shown by the picture on page 50. Let's draw it out. And it wants us to draw it, um, let's see, 25 feet. 
So let's just type in 25, okay? Hit enter. Hit escape. Let's do the same here with this lower one. <clears throat> um, you could have, could have stayed in the uh, the same command for wall, but let's try it again. Let's go here. Let's flip it again. Space bar right here. And this time, let's make sure the chain command's on. I'm going to draw a little bit more. Okay. Let's type in 25. Enter. Let it run. Now, I made a mistake here. Uh, I should have done this wall first and this one second. That's okay. Um, let's start this one over again. We could easily start from the end, but let's uh, just do it one more time. This is the one with the chain because we're going to draft it upwards. Did it in the wrong order, but the right things. Let's go 25 again. Now we're going to use the snaps, this is very critical and kind of hard, but you're looking at the exact numbers you see in the picture in figure 2.8 on page 51. So we're going to snap it 135 degrees. Now watch. See how it kind of snaps with that hidden line there? That's good. I mean, it's really that exact dimension, 35 feet, six and some change. That's what we want. Um, that helps us. Uh, that hidden line helps guide us. So let's hit left at a click to accept that. Now let's draw another horizontal line at 25 feet again. Okay. Um, we're gonna keep drawing, drafting horizontally up on this side, like I have shown here, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, 25 feet up and same side here. Make sure it's on this side that I'm on. Now 80 feet. Okay, now we're gonna go down another 25 feet, 25. Oh, didn't need to hit space bar. Enter, chain command still on. Now we're gonna do our old favorite, start and radius arc. This command now, let's flip it. We've gotta flip that. Make sure it's on the right side with the space bar. Um, Let's see, what's the next command? We have that picked. Let's point straight down. We got the beginning, now we need the end, which is 25 feet away. Now we're gonna accept that radius as good because it's a tangent radius. We're following this extension, letting it take it. We're gonna hit enter. Um, I should hit left data click there. Back to wall. Hopefully you made it through that. Back to start and radius arc. I'm gonna go here, flip it, go down 25 feet. There, left data click did it. I hit enter and it didn't like that. Um, <clears throat> let's continue with the walls, back to the line. Finish face exterior still on, chain still on. Let's continue drafting. Make sure they're on this side though, okay? Just like so. Not this side, but this side. Keep going. Back 80. And up 25. Okay. Should look like the picture on page 53. All right. <clears throat> See what's next here. We're going to draft a line uh, similar to on page 54. Now, we're going to intentionally do this. Um, we're gonna make a, excuse me, 
I made a reference plane up here as well, up on this one. You don't need to do that, um, but I'm going to pull this out a little bit. I'm going to pull this reference plane out a little bit to help you. It's just nice when they're going a little further out past where they need to be. It doesn't hurt anything. Okay. It doesn't really tell you that. I just like that. Um, all right. We're just going to go to the draw panel. Make sure I got the sprite. Okay. The wall panel. Do a wall. Draw a line. <clears throat> I'm going to do the pick lines option to draw it. And let's see. We're going to type in an offset this time of 30. Okay. And outside face of the wall. We're going to pick the outside face of this wall. So see how I picked that? I'm just hovering, not clicking anything. Let's make sure I got the right one. Um, I'm going to pick right here. to the wrong direction, let's undo that. So when you offset a lot of times, you get zoomed in, it's hard to see what's going on. Um, pick a line again, offset of 30. So I'm gonna zoom out this time, but stay on that. Now it's going down to the bottom. It's just tricky sometimes, it wants to offset the, you can just redo the command, no big deal. Now we have the line, click on page 54. Um, we're going to make an angled wall. Um, let's offset to the left this wall now. Command's still going. My offset, my wall. Let's zoom in here, make sure I got it right. Yep, that looks good. My thin lines are on too. Left data click. Okay. And that's good. Hit escape. Now, um, we're going to learn a little bit about trimming on page 55. Um, so we go to the modify command for that and trim right here. Excuse me, there it is, trim. Close, close in the icon to join right there. Uh, it's critical on this one to look at your command status bar down here. Select the first line you want to trim, Click the part you want to keep. So it kind of tells you, but the order is important. And TR is the shortcut to get to it as well. Um, just make sure you, you grab the right um, sequence. So in this case, um, we're going to do a couple things. We're going to trim this off. And then we're going to trim this and extend, actually. Um, it's a trim and extend the corner. So we're going to extend the corner between these two. And we're going to trim this one. So let's start by, uh, see if I can get this one, uh, right the first time. One, two, three, four. Nice, okay, let's hit escape. That did it, but make sure that if you mess up, just redo it again and try the order again. It's a little tricky sometimes, but it does, it's pretty smart if you get it in the right order. So uh, we're on page 57 um, and we're gonna select the south wall here, and we're going to do another reference plane. So architecture tab, reference plane. Um, select that command. We're going to do, always watch your options up here. We're going to do an offset of 15. 15. And we're going to create another 15 foot offset um, to the bottom of the building over here. Okay. We're going to pick the line command. I believe that's the one we'd want. Um, let me check on that. <clears throat> Outside face of the south wall. And then we're going to draw about it. Okay. Let's draw the horizontal one first. Let's, let's pick midpoint if we can. I don't know if it lets us on this one because it's picking a whole line. Yes, it does. Okay. Let's go there. We got it snapped. And it's, and it's this line here. Remember to uh, possibly turn your 
Um, thin lines on. This is really helpful. Okay. Let's go back to our contextual ribbon. Zoom out a little. Let's snap to the mid. Snap mid right there. Zoom out a little so we know which way it's going to offset. Offset set at 15. This one, it's a little deceiving. Um, should be offset 25. Pick line there as well. There we go. Pick to the right one. And it shows. Good. Escape. Now we're going to draw some lines, architecture, wall. We'll keep the same. Do offset 15, leave chain on. We're going to go to the midpoint now. Right here on the south wall. Start drafting it down. That's our start point, right? Type in 25, enter. Go back, 25, enter. Got some walls overlapping. That's OK. Um, don't know why that happened. It didn't happen the first time I did this. Let's just extend it. I deleted the bad part and got the new one. Let's draw another wall in here. Um, Okay, there we go, hit save. And we're gonna start adding some interior walls here shortly. Um, we're on page 59. Um, the measure function is really helpful here on the quick toolbar and also um, annotate, ah, modify, it's here as well. Just to check things. See the distance of things you built, just to double check as you build. It's always good practice in Revit to kind of check things as you go um, before you get too far along, just to see if everything's good. Um, so you don't have to fix it later. It's harder to fix it later oftentimes. So we're going to add some interior walls now. Um, a few ways to do it, very similar. We're on floor plan level one. We're going to add some elevator chases. So we're going to go over here um, to this corner <clears throat> and we're going to add architect wall this time we're going to change it to generic um let's see eight inch masonry it's elevator chase and we're going to start drafting it right from this corner right here okay flip it space bar Draft it down, 12, Left click, chain still on. <clears throat> Let's go to the right, 10, left click, up again. Um, we could go just right into the exterior wall this time, instead of putting a dimension. Escape, exit, escape twice. Now we got this. We're going to talk about temporary dimensions a little bit now on page 61. Um, very handy to know how to use them. So um, when you select this right vertical wall, you see some temporary dimensions, right? Um, they're going to certain datums here, but uh, you know you can edit this. That's really helpful to get surgical in your drafting. Uh, I'm going to change one thing in the settings um, on the Manage tab to uh, go to a more favorable spot for the rest of this chapter, at least. Go to manage, additional settings, temporary dimensions, a little fast there. Manage, additional settings, temporary dimensions. 
And this is where the temporary dimensions or originate. So we're gonna change it to faces and openings for walls and doors and windows. You'll see what that means in a minute. Now, when I click this, it goes to the inside of the inside. So that can be more favorable depending on how you're looking at things. Um, I also flip after the fact like this. These wall grips are handy. The ends, here's a move witness line for the temporary dimension that'll come and play later. Um, let's leave this alone. Now, now your temporary dimension, I'm not quite sure why it's not showing me um, this inside dimension. I'm trying to get this here. We could call that, see what it wants it to be. We're gonna call that 12 eventually on page 65 anyway, so we can adjust that. That's what you should see there. That's what you should see here. Now that we've edited where our temporary dimensions go, it's inside, inside. Um, let's also check some other things. I think trying to get this dimension, we can measure it too. So that needs to go out a little bit. We could, we could do it that method, physically move this. Not my favorite way here. Cancel. Still having a little issue getting this dimension to show up exactly how I want it. There it is. Okay, I just had to pick the right spot. 10, there we go. So just pick around on these sometimes. You gotta pick different elements to get different things. There was one I wanted to change. Here's one I wanted to change depending on what I picked. All right. So we're past page 65. We're on to um, page 65 into 66. We're going to um, make one more CMU wall. Right click, select similar. We're gonna try offsetting this. We're gonna pick the lines icon entire line, we're gonna say offset 10. Now we're gonna make sure it's some finished face in interior, boom. So CM from the inner line, it says, so right there. Creates a little chase, Could escape twice, nice. Now we got page 66. We gotta check some dimensions. This isn't exactly the dimension spot I want. There we go. You can actually move these temporary dimensions. That was nice. It went down here. If you just saw what I did, I moved it up here to saying, hey, I wanna control this, not that. So now I can control this area, but it went the wrong way. So sometimes you got to play with this stuff. I'm still getting good at when it moves at what direction. And I'm guessing there's certain ways you can lock one side or another, the more we learn. Um, but we have this all good now. Um, I'm going to delete that dimension. I accidentally made it permanent. We're going to mirror this. Mirror pick access this. Mirror it to the other side. That's on page 66 to 67. We're good. Um, some quick advice for you. You can window over things in this direction. It grabs everything within it. Remember, you can window this direction. It picks everything that it touches with the dashed. If you pick too much, you can hit shift, left click to unclick things or control plus left click to reclick them. That's really handy too, right from the beginning. Left click and control and left click and shift. To deselect. That's really good to know. Um, I'm going to start on page 70. 
um, on the next video. Um, this is as far as I can get for now. Um, I got to run. We'll try to get you another video this weekend, hopefully. Um, hope this helped, and we'll talk again soon.